Previously on Amiibo Survivor, after the first tribal council of the game, the uh, Kinex tribe was still split based on trust relationships. However, Flying Dry Bones was convinced that Donkey Kong was on his side after the promise he made to join him after the first tribal. Meanwhile, at the Amiibo tribe, everybody was just chillaxing and having a good time, enjoying their camp and their newly won reward. The Plushy tribe did not get any screen time until the following challenge the next day, and it was a tough war between all three tribes. However, the Amiibo tribe and the Plushy tribe proved victorious once again, sending, sending the Kinex tribe back to Tribal Council, and the Amiibo tribe ended up winning first place again and getting another reward. They won a break away from their camp and won a deluxe resort getaway to just relax for a while. Luigi, Smash Luigi did try to confirm with everybody else on the plot to get rid of Smash Mario in case that they were to lose. Back at the Kinex tribe, everyone was speculating on who was going to go home. Flying Dry Bones knew that he would get rid of Bowser because he knew that Donkey Kong was on board with the plan. However, Donkey Kong was speculating about it, and Donkey Kong was a swing vote. At Tribal Council, once again, the tribe was split based on trust relations. However, Donkey Kong broke his promise to Flying Dry Bones, and ultimately sided with Bowser, blindsiding Boo. With Boo's elimination, the contestant count drops to 16. Who will be voted out next? Wow, I can agree. It was a wacky night. So we just got back from Tribal Council, feeling good about what just happened and glad I didn't go home. I don't think I was targeted at all. So dumb, Kikong, what the heck was that? Okay, first of all, why did you call me Dom Key Kong? Because of Vine Sauce. Oh, yeah. And second of all, what the heck was that? What did you try to do? I was trying to vote out Bowser, just like you said. You promised you would help me get rid of Bowser. Wait, I was supposed to go home tonight? No, Bowser, you're safe. You're okay, you can trust me. You obligatively lied to me, you monster! Hey, I was just trying to regain trust. You weren't you weren't dealing with any situations. I helped you get rid of Blue Toad! So he was the one that got rid of that fungus? Yeah, kind of a big deal. Enough with Undertale, okay? I still can't believe I'm supposed to go home tonight. Flying dry bones. Hey, I was the one that wanted you to go. Not me. 
I seriously can't believe that Donkey Kong voted out Boo in instead of Bowser. I wanted Bowser out. I trusted Boo. He was one of my only allies. And thanks to Donkey Kong, who I ridiculously helped, my pal Boo is gone. Because I'll have to do this alone. And maybe I can even win or something if I could just get pull with the punches and get moving. Wow, this camp is pretty much kid paradise. I love it here. <sighs> Um, I kind of forgot how we ended up here as our new camp because of one reason We never got screen time in the last episode Yeah, nothing an extended flashback won't solve flashback Huh, so this must be our new moved camp Huh, I guess so Oh, yeah immunity can't drop this. <laughs> this must be an amazing camp. The seat's so comfortable. Could really use a bit of coldness in here. I'm still mad at you, Francisca. Uh, who cares? This is the best camp ever! Whee! So, we just arrived at our brand new camp. And everything seems to be lovely. So, yeah, what could go wrong? Yeah, I love this new camp, but we still have immunity, so we're pretty much good. You kind of look like Bowser Jr., but not. Yeah, kind of stink. Hey, weren't you supposed to be in the Mario and Luigi movie? Yeah, about that. I kind of can't since I'm stuck here. Ouch, that's a bit harsh. I was supposed to be in the Mario and Luigi movie, Journey to the Center of Bowser or something, but I got stuck here. So, apparently I had, they had to use somebody else to film in my role. <sighs> I would have liked to be in that movie. Blue Toad's dead in the new Super Mario Bros. You pour it onto the Switch. Now we just have to wait for our screen time. End of flashback. I'm surprised we never won rewards yet. It feels like we've won a ton of rewards. Yeah, definitely feels like it. And now I know how we came back here. That was literally a few days ago. Eh, I guess you're right. Eh, whatever. Before we get to what the challenge is, Amiibo and Plushie Tribes take a good look at the new Connect Tribe. Boo, as you could tell, was voted out last night. Who will be voted out next? Anyways, the game will continue to evolve. We are not always going to have a repetitive formula. For this challenge, you guys are not playing for immunity. Wait a minute, no immunity? Nope. Today is simply a reward challenge. So if you lose, you do not go to Tribal Council. Instead, this is just a reward challenge. So you're just playing for a reward to enhance your personal life in this game. Kind of like for the past couple challenges, the first place gets a reward. And yeah. Anyways. And to make things interesting, apart from the previous seasons, for the, the reward challenges will be based off, uh, will be, he pretty much reviews on what skills of survival you have learned from the past immunity challenges. For the first immunity challenge, you are attempting to master strength. And for the second immunity challenge, you are attempting to master teamwork. Today's challenge will be based on, on both of those traits. 
and some of the challenges in this season will be retrospecting past challenges of past seasons. Starting with this one. Today's challenge will be based off of the first immunity challenge from season two. So here's how this is gonna work. It is a uh, an obstacle relay race, as you if you've seen season two. Here's how the obstacle relay works. The starting line is right here, and and one at a time, one member from all three tribes will climb down he here. And, and reach the carpet. Then they have to climb up onto this chair and squeeze through that tiny hole to progress onward. Then, depending on your size, you'll have to go through one of these three checkpoints. If so, the Connects tribe will go through the clock tower. The Plushy tribe will go through this crayon box. And then the Amiibo tribe will crawl, go across this geotrack piece thing where they'll tag their teammates. And for the plushie tribe, you have to be in the box of tag. Once, the, once your teammate is tagged, then your teammate will advance onward and try to jump past this critical mess all the way across to the other side. Then they'll have to climb up to this stick and hit this Microsoft button to earn a point for your tribe. Here's how the reward system will work for this challenge and for the next challenge of reward challenges so the so the first two tribes to get two points will win a reward the first one will get a major reward and the second one will get a minor reward so here's how so here are the rewards up for stake so the minor reward will be a a blanket tarp that you can add on to your camp or something. It can act as comfort, a tarp, for sleeping, anything practically. The major reward will be a big bag of chips. I don't have them here to show you guys for some reason because my producers failed to get them because of reasons. But anyways, that's what we're playing for. So the second place reward is a tarp in the form of a quilt. The first place is some food. So we'll randomly draw for whoever goes. But first, before we can begin, the tribes are unbalanced. So Amiibo and Plushy tribes, you have two extra members. You, you must each sit out somebody. Just keep in mind that you cannot sit out players in back-to-back -back challenges. Who's gonna sit out this time? Yes, all smashing sit out. I'm gonna agree with him. And after deliberation, I'll sit out. All along with me. I don't think I can run because of my stub legs. All right, Smash Mario, Smash Luigi, Bulbasaur Jr., and Cutman. The four of you will sit out. You can have a seat back there. The rest of you will randomly draw for whoever goes, and then we'll get started. All right, we have our we have the challenge ready. We have Whiting Mario going first, Diddy Kong going second, and King DDD Meta Knight over there at the tag point. We have Yellow Toad going first, and Susie going second. They'll be going towards the box with Sonic and Francisca. And finally, and finally, Flying Dry Bones going first, Bowser going second. They'll be going over to the clock tower of where Donkey Kong and Yoshi are waiting there. Alrighty now, for reward. Survivors ready. Go. Here. Already, everybody's going. Yellow Toe with his fast reflexes making it up. Flying Dry Bones making it up with his wings. And Wedding Mario doing the wedding waltz up. Yellow Toad squeezes in easily. 
Everybody does. Yellow Toad makes it to the box. Falls in. Wedding Mario is at the Geotrack station. Makes it up and tags Meta Knight. You can have a seat on the elevator, Wedding Mario. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now it's my turn. Blind Dry Bones flies into the clock tower. I don't want to tap you, Donkey Kong. Why not? Because of Tribal Council reasons. It appears that Flying Dry Bones, for whatever reason, refuses to tag Donkey Kong. They could be here a while. Toad finally gets himself up and tags Sonic. Gotta go fast. Just Meta Knight and Sonic dodging the mess. Sonic just rolling around. Meta Knight just rolling with the punches. Sonic continuing to move. And so does Meta Knight. Sonic not giving up. He goes fast. And makes the goal first. Yeah, that's what I call Sonic Speed. Meta Knight's coming up too. Struggling a bit. Susie is now getting a move on fails to go. Just one little tap, that's all I need. Never! Still some confrontation between Donkey Kong and Flying Dry Bones. Meta Knight finally makes it up and reaches the goal. Yeah, that's what I call super power. Diddy now on to the course for Amiibo. Susie makes it up and goes down. Diddy using his monkey-like abilities and making it through easily. Flying Dry Bones, Donkey Kong, just, just forget your differences, we'll discuss them later, just tap each other and get moving! Diddy is, for whatever reason, faster than Susie, makes it to the Geotrack station first. Susie comes into the box. Well, go ahead, tap me! Never. <gasps> oh, we've got two confrontations! The Kinect Tribe and the Plushy Tribe. What could they have possibly have grudge against this time? Diddy Kong de tags King Diddy, and now King Diddy goes onward. Look, Francisca, I'll never forgive you for what you did to me in Kirby Star Allies. You replaced me, so you're being data mined for the third update, and that's coming next. Wait, so. <gasps> So wait, the the Adeline and Ribbon update already came? Yep. You're next. But when? Tell me when. Nintendo still hasn't revealed it. I'm not tapping you then. Just tell me already, Flying Dry Bones. Never. I'll never forgive you for what you did to me. While everybody was stuck in the fight, King Didi made it up already! Yeah, 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 I am a superstar warrior! Yeah! We won! Yeah, we won for the third time in a row! <laughs> and all because those loser faces couldn't pull off a win! It's fine, just go! Just go! I don't care! <gasps> Finally! After all that deliberation, Donkey Kong finally decides to get moving! Yeah! Now we can finish this right! Yeah! Donkey Kong is here! Just give me on when that release date will come, and I'll tap you. Uh... Bowser is now up! Oh, despite Bowser's disadvantages in the previous challenges, Making pretty great progress here. Just tell me. Uh, Bowser's now approaching the clock tower. Go, Yoshi. Do it. Arzo. Just tell me. I think it might actually be scheduled for November. I don't know. Maybe that's up, that's up for Hal to decide. That's all I needed to hear. Just go. Thank you. 
we've got ourselves a battle. Will the Kinex try be able to pull it off and make an amazing comeback? I can do this. I can do this. I'm so close. Not on your ice, buddy. No! No! <laughs> huh. You forgot I can flatter jump? Ow! No! And that's the game. Amiibo and Kinex Tribes win reward. I can't, I can't believe it. We actually won something for once. Yes, finally. Aren't you happier, guys? Maybe about this, but I'm not happy about you, DK. I thought I performed nicely. No. Thanks a lot, Susie and Francisca. Congratulations, Amiibo and Connect Tribes. And especially you, Connect Tribe. It may not have been immunity, but congratulations on finally breaking your losing streak. So as a reward, you guys get the next reward. Well, the second place one, at least. But anyways... Amiibo Tribe, since you got first place, you'll get the free food, and, and I forgot to mention this, you guys will also pick one member of the losing tribe to go to Ghost Island, where the hidden old advantage could still be there, we don't know what could happen to it, but anyways, who's it gonna pick out of the plushie tribe? Alright, we are going to send the Duke of Bootleg! For future reference, it's Bulbasaur Jr. Oh. Oh. Alright, Bulbasaur Jr., you heard them. You're gonna be headed to Ghost Island for the first time, and we'll be seeing you for the next immunity challenge on day nine. So, yeah. We'll see you there. Bye-bye. <sighs> Alright, Amiibo Tribe, got nothing else for you. You can head back to your camp. Your reward shall await you there. Same thing, same goes to you, Connect Tribe. Hope you enjoy your very first reward in a long time. And Plushy Tribe, got nothing else for you too. You can head back to your camp normally. Whatever. See you at the next challenge, I guess. Connects for the win!